Welcome back to Cooking with Laura Lee. I am Laura Lee. Thank you so much for joining me today as I have a wonderful treat for you all today. We have our monthly collaboration. So please be sure to go down to the description information and look at all of the channels that are participating. Today, I will be sharing my interpretation of my daughter's Valentine's tea party. Now, this is not a traditional tea party or tea rules or anything like that. This is things that my daughters will like and enjoy uh, to have in their tea parties. So sit back, enjoy, and make sure to hit that subscribe button and share. I'm going to start off with the sweets. Uh, you guys know I'm not a baker, so I decided to cheat a little bit and get a store-bought cake. Uh, which worked very well but you'll see that I am truly not a natural baker and um, didn't quite make this spectacular cake but I had a lot of fun doing it. Usually for traditional tea parties there's usually sandwiches, scones, cakes, pastries and maybe biscuits. I stayed with just the desserts, some sandwiches and um, some steak and some potatoes. You guys know I'm no baker but I'm gonna be I'm worried that this will slide down I think I'm gonna take this piece that was lopsided and put some more in here in between so that it won't slide off we'll see how it goes I want it to stick to each other so it can become like a glue and you know what's gonna happen at the end of the day my cake is gonna be lopsided but who cares good enough it's just good enough sometimes but it's gonna be tasty So not bad. <laughs> Trying to do something like this is definitely out of my league, but you know what? I had fun doing it and I really don't care <laughs> as long as it tastes really good. Um, see, this is the other layer that I have in between, um, but uh, eh, I'm okay with that. Be sure to check out my Instagram. I've posted pictures of my zucchini bread. When I make zucchini bread, I usually make two loaves, one for snacking and then the other one my daughters love to eat for breakfast before they go to school. Now, both of my daughters enjoy truffles, especially my youngest one. Um, this day I was running short on time, so instead of rolling it out each one by one, I decided to flatten it out. I only use a half a stick of cream cheese. Usually I use one stick of cream cheese. And I just flattened it out and melted the chocolate over it, and it was the easiest truffles I've ever made. Second time under 30 seconds. Maybe one more time. Ah. You guys, I don't know what's going on here, but that's what I'm gonna do right now. Usually it melts for me beautifully, but so I got a little warm cream cheese. Cause this ain't, I don't know what's going on. Maybe a little water put it in the microwave. Mm, a little better. So it's not gonna look pretty, but it's gonna be tasty. And I'll just go in the refrigerator to cool down and harden. And I think we should be good. Let's see how this comes out later on. Refrigerator, 30 to an hour. I got some water in here. Maybe too much water, I'm gonna like rinse this out a little bit. Barely covers it. I think I will do 30 seconds more. It might be the trick. Just add a little water, forget the oil, cause the vegetable oil. Yeah, I think I might do this from now on. Hopefully it gets hard though. <laughs> 
Yay, much easier. Just gonna make sure it's spread it evenly. Let this come together in the refrigerator. 30 minutes to an hour, and then I'm gonna cut however I wanna cut. I'm okay with that. Good enough. I forgot to record this. Um, this is pretty crisp, I think. Let me see. Nah. Needs a little more, but that's really good. Yum. Oh, well, I'm gonna do spread a little bit more of this. I won't try, try not to double dip. And put it back in the oven. Oh, yum, that's so good. Oh yeah. All right, I'm really excited about these because it just, just came up last minute. I've seen these before, but I didn't know what else to do. And then I was like, I don't want to do mashed potatoes. I don't want to do this. And I'm like, I can do scalloped potatoes. All right, and we have this over here, the cakes. Maybe I should have filled it up. I don't know. I was afraid that it was going to overflow, so I put in two. It's the first time I've made the zucchini bread in here. Usually I use my zucchini pan, and it's absolutely perfect. So I can't remember how long I put the Oh, 40 minutes. I put 40 minutes in there, and I ate one. So you can technically eat them, but I'm going to leave them on for like five to ten more minutes just to kind of get the crispiness. And I believe I put it in for... Um, 400 oh 400 400 this is crispy brown i'm gonna leave it alone but this one is still it's cooked through but i'm gonna put it back in the oven so the top can get crispy take less fat off. I'm gonna put these in the oven today just because it's easier. And so as I finish this up, I'm going to put this in the oven because I don't want to deal with the grill today. Um, I'm gonna put this in the oven piping hot at broil so that when I am ready with this, it can definitely have that sizzle grill taste and smell. And so since this is going in the um, oven, I kind of want to lay it flat so it can cook faster. This is a super tender meat and the way I cut it is the way that my daughter loves it and so it will not take long to cook. So we have this over here. I'll show you that I had this at broil, uh, very high. I was gonna put this before but I actually didn't want the butter to burn. So you hear it sizzling? Okay, so I didn't want my stuff to burn. So it's sizzling already and I'm gonna just go ahead and put the steaks in there. All right, so I think I had them for two minutes, right? And then they started to cook a little bit. Get that grill flavor, I'm gonna put some of this. And now we're also gonna turn down the heat a little bit. So I have them at the bottom level and I put it down to, for 350. I think I'm gonna just cook them for a little bit and actually it has the, it has the um, grill smell because of the, the wood was burning a little bit. <laughs> All right guys, that's how you get a smoky flavor. All right, I'm gonna twist these a little bit. I'm gonna turn these around. Maybe like four more minutes, four to, four to eight more minutes. Well, I don't like them, I don't like them bloody, but that's what we'll do. I wanted to show you, it's already cooled down because I'm back and forth in recording. But this is super, super tender. It's like super tender and juicy. 
salty the perfectly. It's like, I don't even know, it's just too tender. My daughters love popping boba tea and uh, they love it so much that we get it every Sunday after church. It is delicious and um, I've made, actually I have to share more videos, I have other videos with um, popping boba but these particular ones were delicious um, but I actually recorded this in two days and so the next day after a set overnight it was so delicious and refreshing, very yummy. Uh, what you see me doing here is pouring into this um, sir simple syrup and all it is is equal parts of water and sugar and I just added some uh, cinnamon and cloves. So as we come close to the end, I just want to wish everybody a very happy Valentine's Day. I hope you all enjoy my video. I am super proud of myself. I did everything that I think reflected my daughters uh, within the blue colors of the whole tea set. Um, the boba tea, that's their style, how they have tea, their desserts, and just the whole atmosphere. Uh, when my daughter walked in, she just really brightened up and thought it was the most beautiful thing she ever seen. My other daughter didn't, didn't get to see everything, but she was definitely able to share all of the desserts and um, food. And when she came home, she was like, I can get used to this. So um, very grateful, very proud of my daughters. Um, and just want to encourage anyone and everyone. Proverbs 31 25, she is clothed with strength and dignity. She can laugh at the days to come. And whether you're single or alone, I just want to take the opportunity to um, wish you the best and a very very happy valentine's day just go check out all of the other collaborators thank you so much and have a wonderful day